Hi, welcome back to Nightwing TV. Today I'm going to be talking about the some news that's come up, um, was brought to my attention, so I thought I'd talk about it. Um, I posted a picture about it a few days ago. I want to talk about it now. Um, ex uh, Big 12 expanding again. We know Arizona just moved in last summer, um, along with a few other schools. There's talks about the two teams up here in the Northwest, Oregon State and Washington State, that they're next. Um, we'll see because we know that the ACC is, which is all these teams that are along the East Coast right here, most of them anyway, a few that are not, but majority of them that are right there. Um, their conference is going to be probably next to be plucked from, like the Pac-12 was last, last season. So um, this is how my view of it. Um, it can't really see the blue one that much it's kind of blurry sorry about that i tried to um fix that but it just doesn't any whatever i did just didn't work so if it's kind of blurry there it says pacific it says california stanford oregon state and washington state and they're yeah they're up here but anyway <clears throat> i think cal and stanford because they're part of that league now too in the acc they can come complete that west wing for the big 12 um we already have these four corner schools, which is our mountain, our mountain division here, our mountain pod, excuse me. See, if you have them in pods here too, it'll be easier to schedule because let's say here in the purple, um, these guys, I'm gonna, I'm always picking on my guys, so I'm sorry. We play them every year. It's a rival game. We play these two guys every year, once a year for, this is by football scheduling. Basketball, it'll be twice a year. And um, we'll get to basketball right now, but for football, it'll be once a year. Everybody else, you play a, just one team from each of the other colors and that rotates every four years so you, you play a team every four years outside your pot and within your conference and of course you could probably play them um this could probably happen too where every um there's a, a winner for each pot have like a mini um what 18 conference playoff you know that'll be more games there too uh for networks to pick up as well um, I'm kind of open to the idea of them playing on Wednesday nights, or well, at least the Wednesday night before Thanksgiving. I think that'd be really, really cool. Um, that'll be something different. Um, and I think that's something that'll that'll live on for a long time if they do that. And that'll be that'll be really successful. Um, I don't know if you have Thanksgiving games because you have the NFL, but you do have the Black Friday games. So um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat that you can if you pair this, it'll be like a mini pro league right here for uh college, college guys are i guess they're getting paid already from my understanding so or they're things that are paying them for you know sponsorships or whatever so it's it's different now so we can really open it up like this and i like this uh coast to coast league um this this is how i i envision it now florida state still needs to and clemson still need to break away from the acc um i believe they will I think North Carolina will come with them. I think the schools like that will start coming and you'll have your East Coast completed there. But yeah, to complete the West Coast though, you get your West Wing here. You get all the teams, probably start with these two, Florida State and Clemson, and then North Carolina eventually will come and then they'll start get, to get other schools that come with them. And uh, you let me know what you guys think. It's, it's the rivalry, you got the Pitt and West Virginia back. We got this back here. Um, I don't know. Um, looks really, really nice. It looks really e spread out evenly too. Um, we know that the West Coast teams, a lot of them, they, uh, a lot of the West Coast teams are kind of more spread out. East Coast teams are usually the East Coast in general is just more bunched up. So of course, there's always going to be more schools on the East Coast, but um, the way it evened out though, for East and West, it looks look and middle too. The middle part of the country looks really nice. So um. Syracuse was one that I have picked because um why not especially for basketball um I think it'll make it even stronger Duke is in there as well NC State Louisville um Georgia Tech there's a lot of good a lot of good teams why I have Miami down there a lot of good teams I think that can that can fit this um make complete this conference and uh this is our our first in my first envision of, of a 32 team model so um as far as for the Big 12 goes. So uh, if you guys like to see any other schools instead of the schools I have here, let me know. But um, I think this is pretty pretty good. I left out Boston College. I left out Wake Forest. There's a few schools I left out 
from the ACC, but um, you know, Big Ten, SEC are out there too. Um, I don't know if the SEC, maybe they just merge and maybe they get once they get rid of some schools, but maybe they become a thirty, they get to their thirty-two somehow, and they merge up. You know, that could be a, a video for another time, but or maybe somebody else could do that one. Either way, but um, anyway, thanks for your time and uh, yeah, let me know what you think of these schools and um, um, how how the pods pair up and uh just let me know what you guys think of the whole idea and uh what you think of this realignment when when will it end when do you think it will end i think i give it two more years maybe three but um i think it'll end here pretty soon we'll, we'll have something that's more set in stone long term i hope or some steadiness before the next round which i hope is not until like in the 2040s or later we have to we have to let this rest for a while so but we're getting closer and uh this is how I envision the Big 12 uh, as for where we stand today, uh, August of 2024, just before the 2024 season. So thanks again, guys. Um, appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for more.